Listen, you're a f bad, f nasty, f and right. you don't f bring up sh on air when I f say I'm like your back. You're a f fat. I don't f care if you're f here or not. Be like that, guys. Come on, man. Serious? I let it go yesterday. But you it's called me right. stupid for the because second who time. Who brought up the stupid subject? You it wasn't a called, stupid you subject. You were making fun of me because I was dealing with the computer. Chris was too. It wasn't just me. No, no, Chris he wasn't. was. Yes, he said. Oh he my God, it's going to be here anything. in three weeks. He didn't say anything on air. Yes, he did. Go back and you listen. He history, was laughing when you I have did it. Have a history it. of attacking me on air, and Chris no, I knows. don't. You have a history of attacking oh, me on air. Are you kidding? You and your big fat looking at. Don't. Come back. Really? You start me to You're not up. my boss. Well, I'm come and I'll call you a every day. Okay, good You're for a you. Fat, self righteous. That's me. And every day that you come in this studio, I will call you what you are. Oh, fat, nasty bitch. And okay. the only reason you have this Vic, job Vic, is because of me. Vic, stop. Okay, stop. Vic needs to stop. There's a Vic Faust arguing with his co-host Crystal Cooper. I wouldn't call it an argument, more of a tirade against her. That was a St. Louis based show called The Edge. And that was a commercial break where they were fighting like that with this tons of curse words thrown her way. Um, so the listening audience didn't hear it. That was during a break. Let's let them finish because this lasted for an entire commercial break. But there was more as he was going crazy on her. He even talked about how she shouldn't show up to work. He got her this job if you couldn't tell from all the bleeps happening there. But he continued on more. I, I've told I, Chris I, I, five I, I, times. I about, understand. And by the way, I reported your nasty five times to Chris about what you do on this radio. You attacked what me What have constantly. I done five different times? You've attacked me four or five times. And Chris I've said, never yes. attacked you. You yelled at me twice and this the is the second time in break that now. The problem is is that you think that whatever you do is right. No, I don't. I, am, shut, I will totally own your it. You're mouth. literally you explaining no yourself. reason to bring up and to attack me on air yesterday and you did. I did not attack you. Grow the it up. Was, Grow no. up. You grow up, you fat. I'm not acting like an immature. Really? Fucking, you started. The well, I just want to clarify one thing. That wasn't a fight. So imagine you're that woman in that position in this radio studio, and there's only one other person, and he's screaming like this at you. And the, you have a choice of either fighting or then trying to keep defending yourself or just sit there and take it. That's intimidating, uh, angry, aggressive behavior. So let's go to details of what happened to Vic Foss. He's a former Fox 2 News anchor and he was fired after he went on that rage fueled sexist rant about Crystal Cooper while he was hosting that radio show. This is on September 13th. Uh, the chief communications officer of Next Star Media, Gary Whiteman said that. His profanity filled rampage criticized Cooper's parenting skills and her weight as you could tell. The St. Louis Post Dispatch did get this leaked audio, and they blew the whole thing up here. So, what is it that got this guy so angry? It's crazy because when they were on air right before they went to that break, it wasn't that much nicer, but there was no cursing. They were fighting over her criticizing him over bringing up his computer issues. Seemed like a normal morning show type of zany, wany thing to do, but he got very upset about it. This is what happened on air before that break. I'm Peter sticking Ball. up for you. I mean, Anybody he, can he did read. call me stupid yesterday on air. So no, Dad said you and your friends were that. stupid for saying stupid things. <laughs> we didn't say anything stupid. Yes, it was they just did. An ob it was stupid. She's and a mentor. And you were lying. And opinion. you were lying anyway. No, so I wasn't. you brought it back up. Yes, you I are. I wasn't lying. Yes, I you were lying. People go, gosh, and can he just be And your friends are stupid for saying what they said. And we're all dumber for you bringing up a dumb topic that had nothing to do with that. What are you talking about? Therefore, you are stupid. Yesterday, he was talking about his computer again. Yes, because it was down. And Chris and I were like, okay, that's enough. And then he called me dumb. No, was it? We can just plug you into the wall. called me stupid. No, it's because you said what you said first. Now, you know you're not supposed to bring up this stuff. I Thank can you. bring up whatever Thank I want, you. actually, because no, no, it can't. was completely Brendan, not okay. No, it was it was one hundred percent okay, and you were stupid for doing it because <laughs> you should have brought up something that was ridiculous in the first place because you right lied. Because you lied. I'm not a liar. Brendan, Quit Brendan, let's go to break. Liar. Let's go to break. <laughs> let's go to break. You're a liar. I don't want to break you out. Okay. No, I'm not. You're a See, liar. About Vic. Scintillating radio. If you were listening at the time when that was happening, uh, so he was fired. Here's his tweet. He said, "I'm very sorry." This is his tweet. My words hurt Crystal, my colleagues, and my family. I made a huge mistake and I'm ashamed. Hmm. As I work to earn trust, I hope I can have an open dialogue about respect in the workplace and forgiveness. My mistake is not my kid's mistake. Please respect their privacy. I'm not sure if people are coming at his kids or not. Maybe that's what that back end was about. Yes, leave his kids alone. 
Um, so Farron, you, you've worked in broadcast, you've worked in many fields. You've done office jobs, you broadcast, you maybe have some folks that work with you. Uh, when's the last time you went on this, <laughs> this kind of tirade? Uh, me personally, never. But uh, you know, I've worked with enough networks and uh, enough different, uh, uh, you know, talents and hosts over the years. Look, that that kind of stuff probably happens more than I think a lot of people understand. Uh, and I'm just going to be 100% honest with you guys. Uh, not necessarily to that degree. We don't devolve into the sexism and body shaming at all. Uh, but no, I've I've heard you know some horrid tirades. People have bad days, but that dude clearly has a rage problem and and something you know clearly against against women. And I think a lot of it also has to do with, as you pointed out, this guy was also the local news anchor. Yeah, we had the 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. slots. You're talking about the prime time for local news. So he probably goes into this radio studio every morning with this co-host and he thinks I'm I'm the big guy, right? I'm the popular one, this entire city knows who I am. Nobody knows who you are, I made you. So he comes in with this prima donna attitude. So any criticism against him, even you know the light mockery of ah, you were having computer problems, you're old, ha, huh? it's funny. <laughs> It gets amped up to 11 because he thinks you don't talk to me like that. I'm I'm Vic frickin' Faust, you know, and yeah. that's what does this. These people get these big heads for being such you know, a local news anchor. Nobody cares. I mean, look, <laughs> it's it's one thing. Everybody has bad days. I'm sure you know we we've, we've all had things where we've ah, but. Right. It, it takes it another level and to a place where it should never go when you take it out on a different person and start personally attacking them. That's where it absolutely crosses the line. Sometimes you get mad, you want to yell, do it. Don't yeah. take it out on another or person. Yell at the mirror, look at scream into yeah. a pillow, you know, have your rage issues there. My producers, Emily and Emilio uh, months ago called me a boomer because of some computer <laughs> issue I had. And it wasn't even a computer issue, it was just my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I raged on them. <laughs> it's like, don't you ever 